and we're outside the Foo Syndicate building. And we've heard about this from Sylvia Black. Apparently they kidnap vampires and do experiments on them. I don't think the Mandarin is just going to let go of Babaris that easily. I think we're walking right into a trap, but... I think we've got a choice, unfortunately. But we'll see. We'll see what if we can negotiate terms. So good you finally decided to show up. If you want to meet your comrade, walk through those doors. Okay, our presence is working, but... Even so. No, bring him out here. Then we'll talk. Subject will not enter the next area. This may be due to a theoretical sixth sense, or perhaps it is simply a fray. Are you stubborn by nature or instinct? Come out here and show yourself. <laughs> Step through the doors. No. Subject refuses to move to the next chamber. I assure you your comrade is still alive. If you want him released, you will do as I say. All right. But we know it's a trap. I am told you are a rather resourceful individual. This should make you a most intriguing specimen. You and your kind may play mortals for weaklings and fools, and that may be fitting for some. But you underestimate me. Subject is female. Appearance suggests early to late twenties. True age unknown. As with the other, there are no vital signs. No heartbeat, no body heat. Test chamber air sample is 97% carbon monoxide. Normal respiration cannot take place. Subject is by all definition clinically dead. Hello in there. Never mind. I'm going to run some tests on you. I'm interested in how you work, but only because it's my task to find the most efficient way to kill your kind. Please. Give me everything you've got. Begin the experiment. Test chamber has been filled with ultraviolet light, releasing moderate UV radiation. Does that burn at all? Nope. <laughs> Subject exhibits no sign of pain or even physical discomfort. Shut down the lights. Conclusion, UV radiation does not produce the desired effect. Please, move on to the next chamber. If you cooperate, I will give you a dog for your good behavior. I find my subjects prefer dog blood over the rats I normally give them. Wow. <laughs> your kind is resourceful. Your survival instinct borders on animalistic. I'm curious about your innate abilities. Let us see what you can do. The walls are reinforced concrete, several feet thick. There is no other exit. Believe me, it is my design. Well, good to know. So you can probably see those little squares there. Only the most simple creatures can survive this mendament. I am told you can regenerate parts of your body. I'd much like to observe this. I wonder, how many limbs can you lose before you cease to function? You've shown great resilience so far. Let's see how you do against some luck. Does that hurt? Sometimes, myths are constructed around legitimate observations. Let us find out if there's any truth in an old superstition. Initiate Van Helsing experiment. I'd rather the experiment didn't end here. Please. Van Helsing hypothesis tests false. Well, when God fails, put your faith in the gun. Proceed, Commander. The men are better in those areas. The weapon modifications are my own design. <laughs> Refined incendiary rounds. Promising. Suggest What is it doing? I'm stuck.
stealthy. And I'm using my Nijeta, which gives me plus two to illusion. Very useful. It's nice that we got a free shotgun. That's gonna be good for. Come on. All right, fine. I'll feed on him. And because this is again an earlier patch, we can actually feed on SWAT team type men. Subject has terminated. <sighs> Belmont team. You are turning out to be a very useful guinea pig. But we have a conflict of interest. You continue to endure, even though it's my instruction to incapacitate you. This calls for a more drastic approach. Continue to the next room. I'm very enthusiastic about this next test. Many regimes use electricity to torture information. It's useful if this applies to your kind as well. Or will the voltage have results similar to find you have demonstrated considerable mental and physical acumen? And I'm quite perplexed how something that should be dead can display such strong survival skills. Let's begin the final test. Step into the next room. Stand by. Run a check on the extinguishers one more time. I've already determined fire is a weakness of the car. I would like to know more about the psychological effects it has on you and how you can be I'm sure you do. It'd be a shame if I blew this up. Cooperative because I'm escaping. <sighs> just a just a guess, really. My employer's punishment for your escape would be a thousand <laughs> times more painful than anything you could devise. So scared. I refuse to give you the satisfaction. Says the man who says he would give me the satisfaction, but but he ended up doing it anyway. Because he's too scared of me. Anyway, before we un uh, rescue Babaris. Yeah, it's like, oh my goodness. We don't really have three more points, so we can get that up. Let's have a look here. Yeah, this is where he was observious. But there was more. Coffins! Have fun. Interesting. Actually, well, I think we did a pretty good run of these things. Let's have a look here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's go. They get you too. Now I've got no excuse. A Nosferatu getting caught by a bunch of humans. <sighs> this is a new low. But Boris, I presume. Gary sent me to get come and get you. Let's get out of here. Wait. We can't go yet. There are servers here. We need to hack in and delete all of their research. Should be a mainframe on this floor. Hacking? I can barely type. Fine. I'll do it. Watch my back. Any hearts are still beating when we're through. I'll rip them out myself. Agreed. All right. Let's delete those files. Yeah, I don't blame him for wanting to... Let it rip, basically. Right. You have a go, bro. Alright. 
so... And he'll open the door we need to go to. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hold it. Man, I'm really loving how powerful I am. It's great. <laughs> I think bar should be uh, ripping some parts and foes. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Before we continue. Now I'm just uh, demonstrating this to you here. This is a door. Now, if you're play a character who has less than nine persuasion, I believe, um, you need at least eight uh, security. You know, about this three and this five, and then you can use your bluff buff. It depends on what your level your bluff buff is, but. You need to be able to unlock this. Unfortunately, I can't unlock it ever because mine will only go up to uh, eight. But if you you know you unlock it, you, and then you hack the emails, which is bad. Let's get out of here. Free hacking. You need to contact Gary right away. He needs to know you're okay. Will do. And thanks. Ooh, damn! Ooh. What a lovely thing. That's lovely. Anyway, um, you will find the email which basically lets you know that someone who's a priestess is contacting the Mandarin and saying that he needs to get rid of uh, Wong Po and he. You gonna. He was gonna do that. Um, yeah, so he was gonna. Yeah, so he's in danger. Unfortunately, we can't do that, so we don't have the proof of that. But I think because we have nine persuade, thanks for our presence, we should be able to convince Wong Ho that maybe he should get out of here. But we'll have to talk to him first. That noise. Jeez. Sir. <laughs> Hello? Are you interested in saving money on long distance calls? <laughs> you done real well bringing our boy back. I got your info, hero. Yes. The same information I gave your prince, I also traded to the Giovanni for a bit of juicy gossip. You both had an equal opportunity to take it. They just had a bit more initiative. The Giovanni? If you're going to play Jihad, you need to do your homework. Knowledge is power, and power has a price. But seeing as how I've already got what I want from them, I'll give you a freebie. Tell me about the Giovanni. Oh, you're going to love this. They've got skeletons in their closet. Literally. <laughs> I should have played the cat skills. Incest, organized crime, death cults. That's the Giovanni. Spaghetti and corpses, boss. Tell me about the Giovanni. Tell me a secret about the Giovanni. The Incaran sarcophagus isn't the only occult item they're hoarding. I hear they've got a collection that'd make Alistair Crowley come back from the dead. That is, assuming he isn't already sitting on a shelf somewhere over there. Tell me where to find the Giovanni. Oh, I'll tell you. And if you're foolish enough to go there, well, don't say I didn't warn you, boss. They have a mansion in the city. I'll draw you a map. They're having a reunion. Anyone who isn't a Giovanni shouldn't get within 50 yards. A reunion, huh? I'll take my chances. Thanks for the info. <laughs> Am I the only one who saw this coming a million miles away? It seems so. <laughs> you get them, boss. You give them one for Gary. If you should survive and ever need any information, come back and see me. I'm always here. And everywhere. I'll remember that. Goodbye. 
<laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so we've sorted that out, but. Whew. Uh, what a trip. Hmm. Well, we do need to go to the Giovanni anyway, because we need to get that book from. for Pisha. Welcome back! Yeah. Alright. Sell this. My goodness, we have a nice lot of money. Alright, is there anything else I need to sell? I don't think so. Uh, so I'm just gonna let that money build up. And actually, let's go and visit. Uh, we gotta, actually, we gotta, oh yeah, we need to talk to Wong Ho. Wong Ho, because, um, this doesn't seem good. These coincidences, I'm pretty sure Ming Zhao knows what's going on here. Like, wow, she really doesn't know what's going on in her own, you know, territory? Please. Sea Town Shootout. Body count rises to vigilante cleans house at Glaze. Hoo hoo. My goodness. Alright. So if we manage this, we'll get a humanity point. Yes. How can I help you? I found out who was bankrolling the, the Tong. Really? Who was he? He was running some sort of secret science lab conducting experiments. Experiments? What kind of experiments? The kind you don't get money if for if you participate. I see. Where is he now? I killed him, and I have proof that he was working with Ming Xiao. No, I don't. <laughs> what? How can that be? Ming Zhao would never involve herself in something like this. I don't believe you. Believe it, Wang Ho. You're next on her on their list. Hmm. I consider you a friend, and I trust your counsel. Perhaps I will think on this matter for a little while. Maybe I will speak with Ming Zhao about it. Trust me, Wang Ho. You don't want to do that. Get out of town now. I believe you. Perhaps I will close the restaurant, get Kiki, and go away for a while. Thank you, my friend. I owe you yet another debt of gratitude. May the gods be with you, whatever path you decide to take. I appreciate Wang Ho. Take care of yourself. I do have one god who's watching over me, which is Set. I'm sure Set, Set has been look after me so far. That's interesting. How come we already know about this list? Hmm. Maybe we were. Because we didn't actually see that email at all. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think we were supposed to know that, but that doesn't matter. Alright. But I'm glad we managed to save him. He's a good man. We could confront Ming Xiao, but I'd rather not. Where to? You totally can, though. Uh, let me let me show you what happens if you do, though. I'm not gonna keep it, though. My character is going to play the long game. Yeah, she doesn't need to let Ming Xiao know that she knows all the pieces yet. That could be a really super bad move on our part. To be honest. Welcome back, King. Do you know of a, of a silver haired man? Silver haired. What can I. There is much. Uh, well, I guess we might as well ask about her relationship to humans. Humans? What is it you would like to know? How do the Kui Jin interact with them? In our homeland, man and supernatural live in uneasy harmony. Our mortals see spirituality in all things, and our existence is taken for granted. An open secret is the easiest to keep. Do you not hide your nature? We do, in fact. Our purpose is to seek transcendence. Interfering in mortals' lives, or their interference in Quajin unlives, detracts from this pursuit. But you're a priestess to the humans as well, aren't you? My purpose touches many lives. Such is my path. 
Isn't that interference? I mean it in the most practical sense. Does the parent show the child contempt by protecting it? To help those weaker than oneself is a tenet of my order. I see what you mean. The mortals of our domain are blessedly humble, simple, and content to avoid supernatural attention, which is more than can be said for Western stock. What are you saying? Were we not all human at one point? It is not obvious, Kindred, that mortality is not the end. Is it then not unreasonable to think that further existences lie beyond? That we are all simply transforming? I can see your point. This is what we seek, or at least as best as I can explain it to you. <laughs> that could be really rude if I wanted to be. There is much, Kin- Uh, society. Yes? Your condition doesn't sound very different from my own. On the contrary, it is another chance for us to- Uh, I have to go. Okay, well because I didn't actually read that email, um... I can't go and be like, yo Ming Chao, um, I, I know you're a dodgy bitch! <laughs> I know you're dodgy, I know you, you do all these bad things! But I think our character is going off instinct. Th this seems strange. Surely she would know exactly what the hell's going on in her own domain. And the fact she's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, seems like bullshit to my character. What the hell were you doing, bro? <laughs> um, she she doesn't buy it. Basically, she thinks this is bullshit. So anyway, oops. All right, well, that's okay. Um. So let's go and yeah, I think we're gonna collect our money. I don't think we have anything we need to buy and also check our email. I'll probably check on Heather and see if she's okay. Oh, and I'm after I've talked to Heather, since this people move out of the way. I also wanna show you uh something. Okay, so we have two corrosion, normally. So I'm I'm gonna test out something. Okay, so we have six. I want to show you the coercion system. So I have coercion huh? six naturally. Yeah. Do yourself a favor and call your family. Tell them you won't be around for a while. What? Why? Because it's hard to talk without teeth in the tongue. Give me your money. <laughs> so that's three hundred dollars. Um, that guy. Uh, I think he needed like nine. So, unfortunately, we got the police after us, and uh, you lose a point of humanity when you do that. Now, I'm not doing that because um, I don't see any point in doing it, but this is a possible way you can get money. So, that's something. Money, huh? Been a while. You want cash? Yeah. Does that make a difference? Alright, yeah, we're gonna just pick up our money. And we talk to, uh... Heather! Whee! <laughs> Give me a little bounce. And we're gonna have some fun in the Giovanni place, because I'm gonna do something that I don't always get to do. Um... Yeah, I know there's nothing in here. Uh, let's see... Which is... Play the Japanese games with everyone. I love playing the social games, but we'll, we'll show you what happens. Let's see. Yeah, nothing different. Alright, uh, is there anything I want to put away? Yes, this. I don't need this anymore because we've already dealt with the. I don't really need this tape. We'll just. Put this away. All right, let's talk to Heather and see if she needs anything. Master, change it. Okay. Uh, gothic. Hopefully, she'll actually do it this time. What's the occasion? Oh, we got we got a new email. Yes, General. Beware the Black Queen. Well, we were definitely bewaring her. So I'm gonna 
actually, I forgot, I realized while I was going on my little robbing spree, I think I forgot to rob that chest in the Empire Hotel. I totally forgot about it, and I realized that I needed to rob that chest, so I'm gonna go rob it right now. <laughs> so, that's gonna be good. Okay. Because even though we don't need money, I'm a little concerned my humanity is getting a little too high. I mean, this is actually a good level for my character, but... Oh, oh my money clip's here. <laughs> That's weird, it suddenly showed up, but okay. Um, I'm glad it's here. That's weird. That's very weird. Uh, okay. Sure. I mean, I'm glad it's here. And, oh, and the gold ring. That's weird. I didn't see these before. That's strange. But never mind. It doesn't matter. We've got it. Oh, right. I'm gonna take my thing off. Can we get a hundred bucks? Can we lose a humanity point? That's fine. We're at six. All right. I'm just checking my equipment. Cool. Alright, so I'm just putting on my pretty dress, and I think we're going to make our way to... We're gonna make our way to the Giovanni Mansion. So we're going to have a little fun, for once as a setite. Some fun little scheming, I feel like. At least I hope we will. I'm sure we will. Because this is a fun little social area. I feel like it's one of the last hurrahs of the... Hop in. For as a social character. Well, there are other moments where, you're, where you could be a you know sociable character, but not as much. Oh. Look at these two. Hello, lady. Yeah, what is it? There's a party here tonight? Ah, huh? yes. Oh, yes. Caviar and champagne, darling. You know how these things are. Got my invitation right, right here, love. You have an invitation? Did I just say I have an invitation? If I did, yeah, I have an invitation. Hmm. Give me your invitation. Here, here, take this. You've been a great help. Thanks. Goodbye. Uh, did that not trigger uh, in the conversation? That's a bit of an issue. Hello, sir. You have invitation. Don't you think you can make an exception for me? No invitation. Can't go in. Apologies. Here you go. Mm. Please have a wonderful time. Thank you. Oh, that's a shame. He just wasn't interested. <laughs> Alright. Let's start the fun. Alright. Okay, so we can actually use these secret passages, but I'm not going to today. Hello? Might as well be a costume party. Everyone's smiling, pretending this isn't a pageant put on by the patriarch of this family. Fine. But this is a contest, and I came to win. I'm Maria. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I forgot to actually look at the invitation, but we're Maria. <laughs> hmm. Mira. Mira Giovanni. So... Mina. Mi Mira. That's a beautiful name. It suits you. What? Varafate Fortare. Dyke. I, I meant you looked very elegant tonight. I am positively envious. Oh. You were saying something about this being a contest? They gather us up here to decide just who's the best and brightest of this generation is. The lucky few are given the real power in this family. But some of us need to win more than others. Oh, forget it. You wouldn't understand. I'm very interested. Tell me more about the real power in the family. Uncle Bruno. Since I was a kid, he's been the patriarch of this family. Except he hasn't aged a day. I met with a senator from Massachusetts who asked me if I was related to Bruno Giovanni. 
said Uncle Bruno helped him with his first campaign back in 1950. We've all heard the rumors. The core of our family, they never age. They're secretive. Whispers of blood magic and a kiss. Whatever it is, they pick the very best of us for it. I do anything to be picked. I've made some errors in judgment, but I've lobbied hard for this family's interests. Errors in judgment? For example? What? Forget it. I'm not saying anything about that. Even the best of us made mistakes. It's obviously you. It's obviously set you on this path. I just met you. I like you, but I can't tell anyone. It's too personal. Sometimes you do things you regret, and if someone here found out, they'd use it to destroy my chances at the family ever letting me into their inner circle. You're not the only one with regrets, Mira. You couldn't possibly understand. Uh. I hit a jogger once and I kept on driving. Couldn't let the family, right? We're in the family, right? I did something because it made me feel alive. If you've never tasted it, you wouldn't understand. But a few months ago, I shared a hit with somebody I thought was clean. I tested positive last week. I understand. It's unfortunate. I won't have to worry about this disease if the family accepts me into the inner circle. Damn. I won't have to worry about a thing ever. I'm on a lot of politicians' Christmas card lists. And this family knows I've swung a lot of votes for it, but I'll spare no expense for a lock. I want to be in that circle of power, and I won't let blood get in the way. And of course, when your time comes, I'll pay back the favor. I'll see if I can dig up. Hmm. What a fun little game we're going to play. I do. I have to say, I I do feel sympathetic towards her situation, but. I don't think I also appreciate her being kind of homophobic. She could have just said she wasn't interested. Hey there, Adam Dunson. I don't think we've met. You are? Maria. Maria, pleasure to meet you. What line of work are you in? Oh, I'm in real estate. Myself, I'm an investment banker. <laughs> Great business, lot of potential. For example, I got the inside track on this company right now. And let me tell you, when this company goes public, everyone's going to wish they had a piece of it. Oh, tell me more. Well, it's a biotech firm. You know, they're working on growing replacement organs. Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I'd bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of $50,000 could be easily tripled in five years. You have much experience in this? How much did your last investments return? You take risks in this game. Sometimes you make a million, sometimes you lose a million. The economy changes. It's had problems lately, but it's bound to rocket back any week now. Damn. They were having problems with the economy back in 2004. <laughs> Hate to think what the World of Darkness version of the recession is like. You haven't been very successful lately, have you? Most people here, they've got cash they don't know what to do with. And if one of us falls on hard times, don't you think, as family, they're obligated to help him out? Besides, I get the kiss tonight. Everyone will be investing with me. In fact, if I could ensure my place at the grown-ups table by, say, drawing some attention away from my financial shortcomings, I'd be guaranteed the kiss. Know any dirt about the others I could use? I can't pay you, but I got this watch and this ring. I'll see what I can find out. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. I don't think so. He's an idiot. <laughs> My character's not impressed with him. How about you? Hello there. And what's your name? Oh, I'm Christopher. Giovanni. And you are? Maria Los Rossellini. Nice to meet you. Another person at the party who's not a Giovanni. I mean, forget it. What is it? Call me paranoid. But how do I know I can trust you? You seem decent. I got a secret I've been afraid to tell people as well. You go first. If it's anything like mine, I'll tell you what's bothering me. I realized that I'm an atheist. I renounced my Catholicism. Really? In this family, that's... That kind of thing can get you excommunicated if you're not careful. Well, all right. You want to know what's on my mind? I'll tell you. I found out a few months ago. My mother had an affair before I was born. Turns out my father isn't a Giovanni at all. My real father is this writer named Michael Avalon. If anyone found out, well, I might never rise up in this family. Damn. 
Don't worry, you're safe, safe with me. Enjoy the party. Now, okay, so Chris gives you nothing if you reveal his family secrets. And of course, Adam gives you this watch and ring. Mira is the only one that gives you actual money. She gives you $100 each secret you find. And to be fair, she is dying, and... But then again, I also feel a bit sympathetic towards him, but... Does he really need to be in this family? This family kind of sucks. Maybe him being kicked out of it would be for the best. I mean, he's not real Giovanni. Maybe he'll be alright. Oh, hello again. I might have heard something about your family you might like to know. Yes? You're happy to know this. Adam is completely broke. Adam broke? A few years ago, they did an article on him in the business section. <laughs> Money's practically more important than God to this family. I'll make sure Uncle Bruno somehow overhears this. Take this. It's more than Adam's worth. Oof. You'll like this, too. Chris isn't really a Giovanni. His mother had an affair. And Cecilia had an affair? If Chris isn't really a Giovanni, it won't sit well at all with Bruno. So sorry, cousin. Here, these bills represent Chris's entire future. Spend them wisely. For your assistance, you can be certain that when I have my way, I'll bring you into the fold. If you wish, all I have to do is set the rumor mill in motion, and I'm as good as any. Excuse me. Okay. Woohoo! We've done that, and they're the other, you know, Chris and Adam are not going to talk to us anymore. Because <laughs> we spilled their secrets. Alright. So here's another fun little thing you can do if you ever wanted to. What if you were. Oriented character. Let's bash our way in. So this is Bruno. Oh, Bruno here. Yeah, yeah he's got he's quite a tough boy. He's got celerity and he will be raising up zombies. I mean, when I say he's a tough boy, he, he can actually really work when it comes to firearms, but I have destroyed him, so. See. You've killed Bruno, you still need to deliver this, the arm cars like this to the prince though. Why is it hot? So I'm just showing this off. Zombies are all gone because uh We got here. Yeah. So that's one way you can do it, and then you can go here. And oh yeah, um, thank you, sir. And we re reload here, and you. This is how you basically go through, but we're not going to do that. Instead, again, I want to continue the social side of this. Ah, here's another character we can talk to. Uh, hi. I'm, uh... Oh, she's interested in us. Beautiful, I know. Um, thanks. Maria Rosalini, and you are? Nadia Milliner. It's a pleasure to meet you, Maria. Are you from the Chicago Rosalinis? That's right. Oh, you must give my regards to Great Aunt Frances when you get back. I stayed with her last time I was out that way. She was very sweet to me. I will. So what do you do? I'm working on my master's out here. I'm from back east. The Giovannis have been nice enough to let me stay here while I finish up my studies. I've learned a great deal from them, like you wouldn't believe. For example? I, um, I really can't say much about that. I know a little about our family secrets. The dead tell tells you tales too. There's something I want to show you, but you absolutely can't tell anyone, even other people here, okay? Follow me. Come on. So, she, she looked like she was actually kind of interested, but she's not. Um, I think she's only really interested in the male in peace, um, PC. So if you have um, around eight seduction, she is just so into you. And she's like, oh, let's, let's go around here because 
it be sexy to have sex here. <laughs> All right. But we're persuading her here. That's actually was kind of taken with us, but maybe we were too cocky for. Anyway, this is where you could use a switch here, or you could lock that door. And we got that book. Fantastic. So let's have a look at the book. Giovanni book. Voce de Morte by Fenici Marcus Giovanni Canascari. Interesting. Alright, let's talk to her. You know what they do in this room? It's like an embalming room in a funeral parlor. Mm-hmm. Know what they do with the corpses? Please don't say sex. <laughs> I shouldn't do this, but why don't I show you? It gets pretty weird from here. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, and be ready to run. You'll understand when it happens. Follow me. So, if you are a male character who has a high seduction and you seduced her, she'll be like, Oh, I really want to do it right here because, you know, this whole life of things, and you feed on her, so it's no way you can do it. They don't usually attack, just don't provoke them. Okay, let's see if I can- Oh, 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 they're attacking me. What's happening? They're coming to get us. Oh my gosh, we've got to get out of here. Damn, I'm oh. punching hard. What? That one. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to avoid doing it in her face because that'll be a masquerade breach and she is clearly an innocent. I mean, she does know about the zombies, but. Need to kill some more zombies because it's the only way to open this door for some reason. No, don't bite me! No! Ow! Brain! No, don't! Don't attack me! Damn it, the zombie slaps. Let's just check here to see if there's anything. Nope, nope. Damn it. I can't get out! I fucked up! Oh my god. Sorry about that. Oh my goodness, I could not free myself. You know what they do. Mm hmm. I shouldn't do this, but why don't I show you? It's pretty weird for I'm me. sorry about that. I should have saved. I didn't warn you. Oh, I'm a bit annoyed at myself. Run, you'll understand when it happens. Ugh. I'm a bit annoyed at myself for that. Ugh. I should know better. It's okay, though. And by the way, yeah, I can get, uh, puns for if I need to. Shh. They don't usually attack. Just don't provoke them. Anyway, so she's gonna keep following you until... No, don't follow me! It's happening! They're coming to get us! Oh my gosh, we've got to get out of here! Okay, so she's gonna run in there. Okay, so she's cowering. That's good. It won't be so bad when I run for this horn. There we go! Yeah, I know I'm not actually very strong, but... Now we're gonna get out of here. Oh my goodness. Really sorry about that. Okay. So 
and then, yeah. Alright. So we just press the switch. Yeah, sorry about that embarrassing moment, that was really annoying. By the way, I, I forgot to kind of mention this a bit earlier, but you really want to tell Wong Po as soon as possible. Um, you can't persuade him to leave if you have eight persuasion, by the way. Um, and I, I, apparently you don't need the list trick, because I think you somehow magically know it, but... Um, I just sworn I managed to do it without knowing, but maybe it was changed for this patch, but whatever. Um, because I remember when I was playing as Nishikari and I had a uh, high presence, I was able to be like, tell him I had a hunch and I think he should go and he, I managed to persuade him and that worked, but, uh, but apparently, and then in my Salubri game I did it, I read the email, and that's why I was able to tell him, hey, um, you've got to go. Um, gonna actually close him. Alright. So, um, I'm gonna get this. Because this is fun. This is a very fun ability. Okay. Let's take a look here. Okay, so. Uh, so, yeah, you wanna tell him because, um, after we've gone the sarcophagus, I don't think he's going to make it. So he's probably going to be. He's going to have vanished. So Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now, or face the consequences of your actions. Let's discuss this problem, whatever it may be. There is an alliance between your leader Lacroix and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. What, Elias? What are you talking about? We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go. I've got my mission. I will stay. The time for decisions has passed. We Chang brothers accept your life graciously. Nope. Sorry, you won't get, but you won't get it. All right, so I better. Uh... All right, where are you? Uh, come here, come back here, bro. Oh, ow! Now he does a, a nasty bit of aggravated damage. Okay, where's the other brother? Okay, there, over there. Okay, I got him. By the way, if I was using the Patra, I would be having an easy time with these guys too, but it's it's nice just to be able to use my claws. Like, look at this! I'm doing this is so much damage. I am doing well. Alright. He just keeps teleporting. Alright, here we go. Alright. Fantastic. I managed to kill those guys easily, damn. These guys can be rough, but my presence really fucked them up. And I'm walking weirdly, like, damn it. <laughs> We did it! We have the sarcophagus at last! Laquois should be very, very happy with us. And there he is. It's, uh, yeah, I'll probably feed on when I get back, but... Whew, actually, hold a sec, let me just see what number I am at. I'm sorry, did I skip five? Oh, I didn't even have a five. Oh dear. <laughs> well, I better put it in. Whew. 
That was great. So we finally got the sarcophagus back. You have retrieved both of our items from Fisher. You should visit her again. And we have a sarcoph you found a sarcophagus room in the Giovanni Mansion. Removed the last obstacle, keeping you from bringing it back to the prince. So I. Wow, that was uh, quite a fun time. So we are going to cut this off for now. But next time we are going to. Hey, Beckett. <laughs> but next time we're going to talk to the prince and ask him about this alliance that the Chang brothers brought up. Interesting that they brought that up. This alliance. What is going on here? And. Uh... Of course, bring the items to Fisher. And also, we're probably going to finally find out what's in this sarcophagus. Until... Or are we? Because Jack said... Getting the sarcophagus and actually getting in the sarcophagus is two different things. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see. Until then.